guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In our previous video, we deployed our first Spring Boot application into Pivotal Cloud Foundry using CF push command. In this video, you are going to look at what is manifest file. Using CF push to deploy our application is totally straightforward and is easy. What if I say there is a better elegant way to deploy applications? You don't have to use the attributes in the CF push every time you deploy an application. You define those attributes in the manifest file and Total Cloud Foundry automatically recognizes the attributes and deploys your application. Let us take a look at that now. In order to make use of the manifest file feature, you have to add a manifest file on the root of your project. In order to have this drop down suggestion, you have to install a plugin. Go to Eclipse Marketplace and search for Pivotal. Cloud. Install this Eclipse tools for Cloud Foundry so that you have drop down suggestions on the elements that is added in the manifest YAML. Let us go ahead and add the attributes in CF push inside the manifest.yaml. The first one is going to be the applications. I'm going to give the application name as Spring Boot Pivot, Pivotal Manifest. And then there's a list of suggestions here. We need the path where the jar is located to be mentioned in the manifest.yaml. I'm going to select the path now and I'm going to give the path target slash. Spring Boot Pivotal Jar. Then we need to mention the build pack. We have the build pack here, and you can copy the build pack information uh, from the Pivotal documentation and paste it here. You can also configure multiple things here. For example, you can define how many instances you want. For example, I'm going to say two, I want two instances. And you can mention the memory also. Let's say I want uh, one GB. It also gives auto suggestion on how much you want. Uh, I'm going to say 1G. I think this is suffice for now and let us try to deploy this application. It is not mandatory to always have this yeah, manifest.yaml in your uh, you know in your application. You can have this anywhere across and run the CF push by configuring these elements. But it's advisable to have it in your project so that you have one place where all the configurations for total cloud foundry is available and you can maintain it in the kit also. Okay, so let me quickly build this application. The application is successfully built. Now let us go to the CLI and try to do a CF push. For now, I'm going to just say CF push from the folder where my manifest file is present. The manifest file has got activated and you could see here Total Cloud Foundry is pulling the information from the manifest file and it is trying to deploy the application. Now let us run the CF apps command to check the status of the application running in our Total Cloud Foundry environment. All right, we have two applications running. The first was a simple Spring Boot app, and the next one was Spring Boot app with the manifest. Let us go to the web console now. Okay, so looks like our Spring Boot app with manifest file successfully got deployed and it is up and running. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more videos.